Falco, doesn't he? He used to play Yoshi, but um, after a uh, what he thought was a less than stellar performance at Pound 2016, he decided to um, pick up Falco and start playing Falco instead of his Yoshi. Um, That's really interesting. Yeah. Okay, the last time I played him, he was I think he was pre I'm pretty sure he was Yoshi. So Nimbus is the uh, red Falco, mm -hmm. um, and Nimbus has like a more aggressive style. I, I I'm unfam I'm familiar with Kofi's Yoshi style, but not his Falco style. Wow, this is fast paced. Yeah. Oh, nice shine turnaround attempt on the grab, but uh, uh, Nimbus uh, crouch canceled, so he got the knockdown. Oh, and he jumps right into that. That's a sloppy recovery. Kofi takes that to the bank. And Kofi's trying to crouch cancel at way too high a percent, and he's getting super punished for it. Oh, he could have done a falling laser and interrupted the up B. But he gets the edge guard anyway. Yeah, he gets the edge guard. Okay, so the first, the, I'd say the first stock of that was a little bit sloppy, but, you know. Like we were saying earlier with uh, Strict Nine, when you when you're playing so aggro and so fast, you, there's going to be mistakes. Yeah. It's just human nature. Uh, high high dare on shield. I see a lot of Falcos do that. Oh, oh no! Sorry, I interrupted you. No, that's okay. <laughs> I, I see a lot of uh, Falcos do high aerials on shield, and uh, it's kind of a mix up to do a high aerial on shield, especially if you've been doing them low the whole time, because um, if you're doing low aerials, uh, the out of shield option is like your sh nice your shine is safe smash. right yeah. yeah go ahead but um if you do a high aerial on shield you'll catch their out of shield option before you hit their shield so it you know it's important to mix that up yo you 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 i'm get i'm noticing that you're thinking a lot about mix ups and that's like a part of melee that i haven't really been thinking a lot about i was i'm thinking more about like you know how to play optimally in neutral and how, what to do in the right, in yeah. the punish game sort of like what's guaranteed the, these uh these mix-ups are super important, though. You, it's uh, uh, like you can win neutral game scenarios just by doing something slightly different than the things you've been doing, and it's a it's a really good thing to keep in your mind. Yeah, especially with a character like Falco, who's so mix-up heavy. Yeah, like and, all and, and Falcon, yeah. like like you you play. Ooh, oh, nice, nice nair! Nice retreating nair. That's um, that's really good at catching that on stage side B. I see uh, DJ Nintendo use it a lot. That was really good, a good setup for his up B. Um, he gave himself the options to go to stage, go to platform, or go to ledge. That's what, uh, that's what you need to do. Ooh. Oh, he, he did got, a fancy yeah. wave land and was so impressed with himself, <laughs> he just waited there and got back Yeah, it kind of got stuck in his movement a little bit there. <laughs> a little flub. So what a close match. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. It, it's going to come down Ooh. to like one neutral game scenario. Oh. So Nimbus overextends. Kofi got the shine, but didn't get anything out of it. Good DI by Nimbus. Nimbus kind of playing the platforms in this scenario. I kind, I really like it. Um, if you have a lead, you know, it, why not? So Nimbus still can crouch cancel some certain certain things, but that's totally off the table for Kofi, and that could be like a deciding factor. Gets the back air, <laughs> fancy. Uh, can't get, couldn't cover everything. Kofi's oh, nice up smash out of shield. This is going to be... Oh, no, never mind. He dropped it. Oh, he tried to do a shield drop back air, and he just spot dodged, and that could be the oh, match. Oh, but he up airs, and he tries to reverse Nair. Kofi's back on stage. Oh, wow. This is still doable. Shine? Another shine. Yeah, double jump shine. There's no way you can follow that up. Oh, F tilt. Oh. Oh, my God. No, if he just grabs ledge here. Oh, my God. Kofi's going to be hitting himself for this one. Oh, but he's still alive. Oh, my God. That was a really interesting game. Like, they kept forcing each other into positions where they made mistakes and then not punishing the mistakes. <laughs> yeah. So it, both of them, great job forcing your opponent to mess up. Work on that second part. Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny because it's the easy part with Falco, yeah, right? Like, yeah, just getting 60%. It's yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to call Falco brainless, but it's, no, it's, no, of it's, course not. It's more hands than it's it's more fingers than brain. Right. Especially with the punish game part. All right, so Nimbus will take him to uh, to Dreamland. I guess he's more confident in his laser game and his DI than in Kofi's. No, Kofi won. Uh, Kofi lost that oh, last game. I'm sorry. It was so. Thank you for correcting me. Yeah, I no feel problem. Like an idiot. I'm looking over here and still zero zero. <laughs> I'm not the only one confused. Um. All right, press one to get me off the mic. We we already talked about this. Good dash attack for the knockdown. Oh, nice DI mix up on that forward smash. I think uh, Nimbus thought that Kofi was going to go for a combo starter and DI'd out in order to avoid a combo, but a uh, guy with that forward smash it just went way off stage. Ooh, the sweet Mewtwo King angle. 
That was definitely a shine out of shield. Uh, Falcos, they kind of think auto cancel back air is unpunishable, but when they do that really bad drift in the shield with the yeah. soft hit, it's like shield grabbable, shine out of shieldable. It's there's a whole bunch of stuff you could do. Falcos are sometimes uh, too confident in their frame advantage. There's like like the double shine, the the shine, and you miss the the multi shine, so you just shine jump shine and then wave dash down. Yeah. Super punishable, but like nobody punishes it. Yeah. Except you know in 2016 people actually punish it now. <laughs> yeah. Some Falcos, some Falcos uh, just need to be, get that beaten into them that, you know, they're not frame-perfect, amazing yeah. birds that can never be hit. Good laser dash attack. Send a press. Uh, yeah. And that nice shine stall, just a second to delay the hitbox yeah. and get him off stage. I'm going to go ahead and really question that forward B decision. Like, he was already on the ledge. He was already set up for the edge guard. Up B so you have options to either go to the ledge expecting him to get off right. or try to go to platform or something like that. Uh but, you know, e easy to... Ooh! Oh, he's going to die for that? Ledge dash shine, but he's dead for it. Wow. that's That hurts. Yeah, Chum, get me off of commentary. Laser shine. Shine again. Uh, wave lands onto top platform, but uh, Nimbus picks the correct DI there and goes to the edge. Oh, wow. Jab pressure. This is the longest it's stayed in neutral yeah. by far. Um, Nimbus using a lot of jabs. Um, jab pressure is actually really not good in 2016. Uh, if someone jabs your shield, you can purposefully try and shield grab before the jab, then hold down and just hold R and mash A because you'll crouch cancel the jab and immediately grab them. Yeah, I just want to point out Kofi taking that stock. It started with a power shield shine out of power shield. Amazing. It was, th there's nothing you can do there. It's 2016, man. Yeah, you don't expect <laughs> to see that. <laughs> you can't attack your opponent because they'll just power shield and shine out of power shield There's yeah nothing you, they, you, have, you have frame advantage on nothing you might be able to you know perfectly Space. do shield pressure but yeah. can you do power shield pressure i didn't think so it's possible Ooh. oh nice that'll even it up reverse up tilt dare uh yeah, yeah last stock again wow this is a really tight set yeah nice, i'm enjoying watching this nice by press and reacting or by nimbus reacting to the di on the up tilt and getting the stock conversion oh, oh no man. not like this yeah so earlier i i question the decision to forward B. I'm going to go ahead and question that one. <laughs> right, too. yeah. Question that one, too. Yeah. This commentary needs more people ch people's champ. I think this chat means more people's champ. The Rohit? I'm not sure what the Rohit is. I think that's... I, I think Side Rohit is trying death. to claim the Kappa as his own. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, give Ro Rohit the Rainbow Kappa. Rainbow Kappa. Alright, so, uh, Nimbus... Uh, oh, nice power shield. Nimbus counterpicks FD, um... He's more confident in his punish game without the platforms than uh, Kofi. Because, you know, Kofi picked Dreamland, big stage, Ooh. lots of platforms. He figured he picked the complete opposite. Yeah. Nice uh, accuracy with those double lasers. Yeah, he, he did, Chum, he did not enter singles. We got second in doubles beating uh, Stango and, and uh, Brog. Mm -hmm. So he's still, he's still leaving with money in his pocket. Oh, uh, nice up tilts. Uh, nice multiple up tilts. That, I think that, that was the most patient Falco combo I've ever seen. Wow, that forward tilt connected. Oh, nice. That was the mangle. Yeah. I used Mewtwo King, early, Mewtwo King angle earlier. That was the mangle. Baits out the down air, just barely misses it, and gets back to ledge. Still got killed for it, but nice recovery. Still deserves to be shouted out. Uh, Nimbus with a lot of aerial approaches. I'd like to see some tomahawks into grab, and I'd also like to see some laser shine grab or just straight up laser grab. Uh, again, Falco is such a mix-up heavy character. Super important to always be mixing up those things in neutral. Yeah, there's there's a, definitely a lot of tools that they're not using. But like the thing about Falco is like his laser is such a simple tool and yet so effective. Yeah. Like if you mix up how you're spacing your lasers and where you're moving your body as you laser. Like, you can sufficiently mix up your opponent just with lasers, yeah. I feel. Yeah. Oh, every, every laser, this is like, Zoo told me this, every laser is a mix-up. Like, the height, the distance you do it at, where your drifting is, when you fast fall, there's so many things you can do with this tool. Um, and you, you, these two guys are using it correctly, you know, they're pinning their opponents down and uh, they're getting stage positioning from it, so this is a lot of fun to see. Leave it to Zoo to already think of what I just said and say it better than I did, <laughs> and more succinctly. Oh, Kofi getting this huge opening. Gets the laser grab continuation. Oh, man. oh. 
That shine turnaround bear was questionable. And that that is not the first uh, reversal from edge guarding into being dead we've seen this set. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Kofi up a clean stock in this game three. Yeah, Preston, or, uh, Nimbus is going to have to work hard to make up this deficit. But it's on FD, so one stock is a smaller lead on FD than I'd say any other stage. Yeah. He did get a clean 55% off his punish, but Kofi got a clean 50 on his. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is so tight. Nice up tilt. I'm surprised that worked, but wave I'm not dash down it. smash not going to connect. Oh, sick. Yeah, that that the spacing on on Nimbus's down air approach there felt desperate. Just wave dash back punish, mm -hmm. and that was the set. What a good set though. Yeah, uh, Kofi actually dropped a Falco Ditto to bad today. To in bad. Winners. Wow. Yeah. Two zero. Um, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So good to see him.